How do you find these people? I'm so curious. And what was the first person that you featured? And lastly, I'm curious, how many offers do you get from people wanting to pay you <laughs> to feature them? A lot. Um, so the first time I made a video about a human was on day 300. So the way Nas Daily worked out is I committed to making a thousand videos in a thousand days. That was the, the biggest, hardest, most you know ridiculous uh, thing I've done in my life. Three and a half years of daily video making on Facebook, not YouTube. I was anti YouTube back then. Um, and on the first 300 days I was training on how to make videos and I was pointing the camera at myself. But at some point I realized I should point the camera at others. And that's when things started to go viral. So it was some guy in the Philippines who invented some, some you, know, uh, 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 you know, nonprofit thing. I would say um, the way we find ideas is every country I go to, I create a meetup. So a meetup is basically, I put on Facebook or YouTube say, I am going to be in Peru. If you like Nas Daily and want to be in the video, come at this place at this time. In, in China, 20 people come. In the Philippines, 4,000 people come. Wow. You know, it really depends yeah. on the country. In America, probably we'll get 500 or so. It depends on the country and how big Nas Daily is in that country. And then I have 500 or 1,000 locals, and I literally just ask them, who is interesting in your country? Who should we profile? Give me your, your, your mother, your grandfather, your uncle, somebody you heard about in local news. So we literally do like investigative journalism mm -hmm. to find ideas that New York Times has never found. And I, I'll tell this to everybody, I look at the camera. If anybody wants to feel like Christopher Columbus, it's too late to feel like Christopher Columbus as a discoverer, right? Yeah, sure. Like we've discovered every piece of land in the world. But if you wanna feel like Christopher Columbus, start making videos and go to places that nobody cares about and make videos about the people there. You'll be the first person in the world to make that video and tell that story to the outside world. And it's kind of like you discovered a new story mm. and there's a lot of meaning in that. It's fascinating. Wow. Holy cow. So who's the first person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, some guy in the Philippines who invented like um, a way to create light out of like a liter of light. Uh, he does like liter of light, you know, like you take a, you take a b bottle and then you put in, in, you can, in many places there's no electricity. Right. So he would find a way to create electricity out of like a, an empty water bottle. Uh, so that was, that, was, that was really cool and just bringing electricity to people that need it. Mm. And I was like, wow, that's great. More people should know about it. And was your first video a success? I saw signals of success. Mm -hmm. I saw on the first video about humans. Yes. Nas Daily failed for the first 270 videos. So the first 270 times I made videos, it was not a real success. Mm. It was 100,000 followers on Facebook, zero money, you know, averaging 10,000 views. Yeah. You know, Facebook views are also, you know, three second views. Right. As YouTubers would call them, they're fake. Um, so it, you cannot build a business on top of that. And so day 270, I made a video, it went super viral and Nas Daily became what it is. Why'd you make that challenge to begin with? Why a thousand videos, a thousand days? What were you doing before that? Yeah, so I, I'm a big believer. Before making videos, I was a software engineer. So I was working at Venmo, FinTech, this, this world. Yep. I, I found a lot of meaning in enabling transactions between people. And you know, that was a lot of fun, especially seeing Venmo go from you know, nothing to like a $40 billion company now is insane, you know? Um, so, so, uh, why did I make a thousand videos? Because I believe that I'm not the smartest person. The smartest people in the world only need one shot at making a documentary. It gets picked up by Netflix, by Keynes, the whole world sees it and they become big, right? That's the smartest video makers. Mm -hmm. I'm not that. So for me to succeed in this world, I need to work five times as hard and iterate 50 times as much. So I believe that in 24 hours, I can fix my mistakes. All I need is 24 hours to fix a mistake. So if I made a mistake on day 100, 310, I can fix it on day 311. And that iterative sort of a mindset that, 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 that I'm a big fan of uh, enabled me to become a better video maker because I tried and failed and succeeded a thousand times. Mm.